Alrighty, YouTube, what is going on today? We're going to be doing a dual commentary today, and it looks like we're starting off with Galaxies. Uh, I don't know what we're playing against, but this is a match, so we should definitely have some type of fun or some type of entertainment and stuff like that. And like always, before we start a video, I would like to say if you guys do enjoy this video, leave a like, leave a comment, and also subscribe if you have not already. And if you guys can't click on that to help support the channel. So it looks like he's playing a rank eight version of the deck or something like that. Um, well, I mean, he is probably playing fail grand galaxies. I'm not going to say I've heard of the deck. Oh my God. There's a brilliant fusion. Oh, that's, that's really good. You know, we, you know why? Cause you can send the, uh, arc brave dragon to the grave. Hopefully he does have something else to normal summon with this, uh, seraph knight. Hopefully it's not just some random, it really literally was just only to send the amulet. Holy fuck. It was not only to send the amulet. That was, uh, that's pretty good. I mean, it kind of technically was only for the amulet, but hey, that, that's still fucking pretty good. Um, and he's probably going to go into the, no, he's not. He's not going to go into the, the best card he can go into. That's crazy. Um, I would have thought he went into, um, he should have summoned this Seraph Knight in attack mode and sucked it up with infinity, but <clears throat> Hey, that's just, you know, that's just little, little, little plays you can easily do. Um, what the fuck is this? Target with dragon type each, it gains one additional attack during each, but damn, that's so I don't even know if that's a real card. It looks fake as fuck. Um, but it looks like this man has nothing. He was trying to bait out the, um, the galaxy negate, which I don't know why. There's no reason he would negate that. So Nova Shinron, you're doing dumb shit, man. This ain't, this ain't, this ain't D GT, man. You're just doing dumb shit. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said, he could have went into, um, galaxy. I Wait, what is the, what's the play? Dark matter dragon. There you go. You could have went dark matter dragon. Uh, and you know, did a lot more, but hey, like I said, he, do, he does have control of doing the look at this game. It's over because you can negate a spell and he can negate any card. Um, that uh, Nova Shinron is going to be activating, and it doesn't look like um, Nova Shinron is going to be able to get out of this one. Um, <clears throat> and he surrendered. So let's see if this is a match or not, and let's see if he quit. And no, he did not quit, he's actually going to go in with the side deck, and so. Yeah, man. Uh, who, who do you guys think is going to win? My money is on the Galaxy. <laughs> I don't know what the um, Nova Shinron is playing. I have no clue. Um, that card, though, is pretty... Eh, I would that, that That's the best way to explain explain that card. And eh, It's one of those because um, while it is a good card, I don't know how effective it's going to be in this particularly, particular duel. So let's see. Nova Shinra is going to start the uh, the game off going first. Let's see what happens. Starts with a Uthstar Goblin. Um, so he's playing. You know, he he knows the rules. You know, playing a forty card deck might as well play a thirty nine card deck. Um, <clears throat> so let's see what deck he's playing. Come on, can we see something, Nova? Can we see? No, we're not going to see anything. He's going to set one back row, and it looks like his deck is made to go second. So it kind of makes me wonder why did he go first? Oh wow, he's starting off with blue. All right, so I don't know what what the fuck is going on. He's playing Galaxy Soldiers. Um, he's matter of fact. Wait a minute. So wait, who is this? Because last time I did this, Yu-Gi-Oh Pro. What the fuck are you doing? Damn, bro. Okay, Yu-Gi-Oh Pro. Last time, what happened was what the hell? You must have a gospel return from Dragon Lords. Okay. There we go. Um, but uh, last time, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro switched to Duelist with the names. And I, I don't know why I did that. I, I have no clue. Now, I was going to use Dueling Book. But um, I watched a Dueling Book match the other day. And it was... I, I mm -mm, No serving. That is uh, not something... Um, that it just... It doesn't have it doesn't have the flair anymore. It doesn't have the, the spice that it used to have. When uh, when it was um back when it was dueling network, it just doesn't you know it it just I don't know man it's just something about it it's just not not really I guess cool to, to to see something like that. A lot of people commented and it was boring. Um, 
there's a lot of people who make mistakes. I don't really want the game to be hinged on that <clears throat> and stuff like that. So, while you get a pro, is not, you know, the greatest, I guess, uh, test of skill. It is, you know, at least consistent with its rulings and stuff like that. So, I mean, until, uh, unless you guys do want to see it. If, if I do get a lot of votes to see a, a dueling network, not, what well, I forgot what the fuck, dueling book. If you guys really want me to do dueling book, let me know below. Because like I told you guys, they just switched the players. This is not Nova Shinron. Like, like, see, look, he's Nova Shinron, and this is, see, it won't even tell me. Like, nope. See, look, now they're both Nova Shinron. See, I, this one I'm talking about. He was literally the one winning last duel. So he's Nexus. He's Nova Shinron. So I don't understand why I did that. I don't know why they, they, they switch him. I don't understand. Because, look, he's playing the Galaxy deck now. All right, so let's see what he can do. Oh, my God. There's another Kaiju. Give him a Sea Turtle. Look at that. Gets over the board quickly with just a Galaxy Soldier and a Kaiju. <laughs> But now the whole duel is back in his favor, but kind of not because one alternative dragon could just be plopped on the board, and that's the end of uh, Cyber Dragon Infinity's uh, time on the on, on the screen right now. But let's see what he can do. Upstart again. Who's all oh, right? They both played Upstart. Okay, well that's pretty decent. <clears throat> let's see what he can do. Um, no, he's setting cards. No, the game has literally no. What are you doing? You don't set first and then activate Silver's Cry because he's just going to negate it. There's no reason he does not negate it. There we go. Um, so if you have another one, you can activate it. So that's that's just something that's that, that's cool. Um, do you have another one? You, by you setting it, it tells me you don't got shit, which is I, I, I really don't understand you. This folks pay attention to what you're doing. You let you let your opponent on with a lot of shit by doing random stuff. Don't set a monster before you activate cards because that's telling me you have nothing in your hand because you already committed your normal summon. Now, for most people, this is you know obvious information, but for a lot of people, they do this. They they start setting spells and traps and then start activating shit. So it tells me that most likely these are traps because you're no reason you're setting them unless you have a guy like Carter Demise or something, and. It's just you just hurt your own self in the long run. You don't really you don't really help yourself out. You give your opponent way too much information, and that's not you can't win like that. You can't win with uh, giving your opponent that much information. This is why cards like Mind Crush, cards like Trap Death Shoot, cards like Crush Card, stuff like that are very powerful cards because when your when your opponent has that much information, or when you have that much information, you can just you can beat your opponent because you know their plays you know everything they're doing stuff like it's just little shit like that you just got to pay attention to it. so if you guys are new coming into this game be wary of that do not give your opponent any type of information um the little subtle is smooth this certain shit you do can you tip a good player off who's going to pick it up and is going to notice that okay well hey look he's doing this because he doesn't have anything else so this that's just some this little bit of advice, man. Uh, I'm pretty sure most of you guys is watching this. It's like, damn, I already know this busted. It's not really too much to say, but hey, a lot of people really don't know this. A lot of people still do the same thing. As you can see, people are still doing the same exact shit. Um, they're just doing they're just doing something like right there. What you could have did, you what you could have did, you could have twin twisted first, right? Now, depending on it, depending on what like what he had said he did have a, his own twin twister set now like i said you could have twin twister first to make it think like you're going to get over it now your opponent could have took the bait and negated it and then you could have really got the ancient stone back or i don't even know what he was doing this for i don't know if he does have alternative in his hand or not but like i said like little shit like that you could easily find out what your opponent is going to do and he looks like he top decked the alternative just like I was just saying, top deck of the So you, he definitely could have did that. He could have twin twisted, try to force out the background, make him think, all right, maybe he has something, you know, maybe he has something that he can know he can get over infinity and he can get over my background. But then again, if the player's good, he'd be like, all right, so um, you're trying to twin twister uh, before, you know, you act, you know, before doing anything else. So you may, you may be getting baited, but 
like I said, it, it go either way. But like I said, it's it's hard to really do that on Yu-Gi-Oh Pro. This has got to suck. But this is hard to do that on Yu-Gi-Oh Pro. But like in on uh in real life, uh, you can definitely you know give your opponent a little bit of uh, uh, maybe I'm going to do this, maybe I'm going to do that. So let's see what he gets back. All right, he only has 500 left. So let's see what he goes into. I'm pretty sure he's going to go into the um to the young uh, dark matter dragon. Cipher dragon is pretty good too, because now you can steal it, right? Okay, so I, I don't know why he's the. Uh, Oh no! Okay, he's gonna go this. This can pop this, but he actually can't because he does have the gospel. So that's gonna that's gonna suck. That's really gonna suck. Um, yeah, that's gonna suck. I don't think he realized the man had a gospel in his graveyard. But no, um, you can still come back because you do play Arc Brave. What do you? Oh no, I for, uh, I forgot this card existed. You can uh, pop a card, right? So what you could have did was you could have took it with Cipher Dragon. Uh, and then went into this and popped it. And then that would have been good. Why would you leave this? Oh, wait, hold on. This card is destroyed by effect. Okay, that's why. All right. Oh, no, he's top deck a melody of an awakening dragon. So let's see what he can do. Um. Oh, no, he has a chaos max. Do you have enough? Is it a chaos? Oh, he has a fucking chaos form. <laughs> yes. Yes, this is good. This is fucking good, man. This is beautiful. This is, this is good. This is good right here, man. Good fucking back and forth duel. Um, it looks like that's the end of the duel. 800 to the face because of a fucking max dragon. Now, if the honest comes down, I'm going to just be pissed. Oh, that's good. We're going into match three. I believe we're going into match three. Wow, good duel. Let's see who's going to win. Is it going to be Galaxies or is it going to be Blue Eyes? Which is, oh man, this is a good duel. Good fucking duel. But man, yeah, like I said, man, the little little nuances like that, man, can either win or lose you a duel. So let's see what, um, all right, so did Nova Shinran go back to the right person? Or is he, uh, this, is he still the, the, the Nexus guy? So let's see what's going on. He goes to set one card. Uh, so that means, that, that shows me that, um, you, you don't got nothing. So did he quit? What happened just now? I'm just going to set and think. I don't know what's going on. Uh, but I really hope we do get the, the the conclusion of this duel. This was, this, that's just, that's just perfect, man. That's just, that's just like, that, that's just Yu-Gi-Oh! Storytelling. Like, if you, you guys watch the series, that shit would happen in the series. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Just at, at the all odds, you top deck the, like, the, the one card that can win you the game. You have a chaos form. And you just top deck and melody. So now you got you uh, what's the name? Now you got you a, a chaos max. Dude only has five hundred life points. Game's over. Could have did a lot more to be honest with you. Could have did a lot more, but he didn't. And the connection has been lost. So it looks like somebody is quitting. Uh, quit it. Uh, that's pretty sad. So I guess we're gonna just end it right there. Um, yeah, we're gonna end it right there. I'm just gonna have to record another one. I'm gonna give you guys another video later on today so thank you guys for watching hope you guys did enjoy it and see you later on today